Easy Robot. This is Josh Starnes. Um, I have together the Easy B powering a small inverter, dropping the 4.8 volts down to 1.5, and the 1.5 then goes to an array. It's all parallel. Okay, so it took me like two hours to do all that, so. But uh, anyway, I mean, it seems to be working fine, all things considering. But it's just not as impressive as like a visible light one would be. So, like, I can see it through the camera right here, but I mean, LED like that's just way brighter. Um, don't know if that's, you know, if the machine can pick it up better, but I'm pretty sure that it's visual light spectrum that um, the camera control is actually using. What I'm going to do is, is I got a hole cup right there for the uh, easy cam. And I've seen uh, other like artists and things like that uh, modify cameras by taking the IR filter out. And then with the IR filter, um, just going to remove that and then, and then this can show up a whole lot better. So, you know, kind of in the air if that's you know, exactly what's going to happen because got to be able to read off the ceiling here. And uh, you can see that is kind of dark. Uh, with the ambient light that I have here, okay, because I really don't have a whole lot of lights. I got, you know, uh, fish tank usually is going, Christmas tree, it's not going to be there forever, TV, and usually a lamp over there in the corner that's not on right now. Um, apparently, I'm kind of working in the dark, but anyway, so these kind of QR codes, I really need to be able to illuminate them. I did look online, things on like Amazon.com, stuff like that, and, you know, anytime you're building something, always check and see if someone else makes it cheaper. I did find places that, you know, made it cheaper than I could make it myself. Um, and, you know, I found versions that said it could light like a 60 foot out, you know, stuff like that, those kind of ratings. Um, not sure if that's really true. And I don't know what the minimum lux is on the easy cam because I know that uh, that does play a huge, you know, huge role as far as you know the minimum lighting that it can accept. Um, so hopefully I won't have like a glowing dot above above the robot. That would be kind of annoying. Um, really would like to just have the easy cam poke through this hole right here and uh, be able to see you know directly up to the ceiling with the QR codes up there. So I want to uh, pull the filter out, see if that, you know, how that works. And uh, I'm going to test it with the filter in first to see if it actually makes any difference. If not, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to go upload this video, and uh, have a great night, guys.